Alright and welcome back. So as I mentioned before, we're going to have another look at my dashboard in this car and we're going to try my first attempt at a flocked dashboard. Let's give it a shot. Uh, here's another look at the dashboard out of the car. Let's just show you why I'm deciding to rip all this off. So you can see this has already been destroyed. Lots of sag underneath it here. All peeled up never really adhered to it and underneath where the glove box goes is all peeled away so I can't even close the glove box also just from overtime and heat probably all the vents have separated they're still in there but everything's pulled away which leads me to I'm gonna rip all of this skin off of here as well as the original OEM foam for the padded dash All right, here it is after all that padding's been removed. We got a relatively smooth surface, something to work with at least. So a good candidate for some flocking. However, there are some flaws we need to address. All right, problem number one, you can see I removed these windshield defroster vents off the dashboard. And it took a lot of time to make sure I didn't break nothing. When we put them back in here, minus the foam insulation, you can see there's like quarter inch gap I'm not going to be able to hide very well so I'm going to have to come up with a solution to work around that I don't want to completely cover these off because I still want to have the defroster option in the car problem number two here are these two fill mold spots which I can probably just grind down and fill with some fiberglass filler there are some just basic holes throughout this thing that we can fill up Another issue is there's a molded steel piece that goes on the front of this, which I'll have to fiberglass in as well. That actually holds the back half of the gauge cluster. All right. Also, without the padding, you can see these bumps, which you were never able to tell with the padding on or underneath here. Shouldn't be a big problem though. And problem number two is this air vent super ugly gap created created by removing all the the padding and the vinyl as well as that funny bump on the side so probably going to be some fiberglass filler involved with that on to the next problem and lastly the center console trim that goes in the center looks fine until you start looking around the corner we see the gap so we also have to fill that and then the dashboard clock that used to fit in here is completely trimmed out funny so my options are to completely shave it and, and delete this from the dashboard or fill around it and make up the difference all right we'll go over some of the repairs that i made to the plastic you see i just cut out some basic plastic that i had laying around here and made up that gap that i needed to fill up to where that vent's going to fit in here this will also give me a layer that I can build up with fiberglass and make that smooth. Additionally, I decided to get rid of the clock that was on here. So the same piece of plastic, this has been JB welded in here. Also just a base to put fiberglass over. And while looking at this, I realized underneath the here, a whole big piece of plastic was missing. Added the same piece of plastic, JB welded it in there. The next step would be to fiberglass all the way across here over this edge to make it all smooth. You can see there's some filler marks where they filled the actual mold. Fiberglass this. The AC or air vent as well as just the trim sides here, just a little bit of filled so we don't see a gap. And on the top of the dash I mentioned I needed to come up with something for the window defrosters or the windshield defroster. So here is what I come up with. So that's my other cardboard template. Now this is going to be made out of some sheet aluminum and I made provisions and marked out where all the vents correspond so we can mark that through with some dimple dies. All right, so now that we're here, we transfer this template over to some aluminum. 
And this is what we get. Kind of goes with the rest of the car, I think. All right, now that our prep work's done, we can move on to our fiberglass filler. Alright, here we go. I got all my prep work done. Now we can move on to the flocking kit. Alright, here's a flocking kit I got. It's pretty much plain and simple. Here we have a bag of flock, which is basically just suede dust. And it comes with this crazy can of adhesive. It's really not even marked. So what we're going to do is an equivalent of tarring and feathering the dashboard. Layer of glue, then we dust on the flock with this. This is the mini flocker, which basically just poofs out the dust on the dashboard in a sticky surface. So I'll leave the link in the description below for these products and where I got them. finished up this thing came out really well and I got the glove box done as well as the defroster vent installed now we gotta get this back in there so another good thing about this flocking kit as I mentioned before I wasn't sure how much material I would have left over and as you can see after I reclaimed a lot of it 
I have a ton left. And as well, as far as the adhesive, I've only used it down here. So I could probably do another in dashboard in its entirety and center console. All right, there you have it. One successful flocked dash. I'm very happy with how this turned out. All the products I use to do this are going to be in the link in the description below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. See you next time.